Are you looking for the best cold press juicers? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best juicers on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Omega Masticating Cold Press Juicer. Thanks to amazing results in all four of our tests, it wasn't hard to name this Omega model the best cold press juicer overall. Our juices tasted vibrant and were almost perfectly smooth. The pulp came out driest of all the machines, and we got the second highest quantity of juice. This is a very efficient machine at extracting juice, but it was still among the fastest working. The Omega juicer is solidly built, with parts that fit together cleanly and enough weight to stay firmly in place while running. The vertical orientation gives it a fairly small countertop footprint, though the tall chute might not fit inside a cabinet. This juicer has plenty of power to take on tough ingredients, but you'll have to manually cut up many items before they go into the narrow chute. If you're a juice fan who's ready to invest in making cold press at home, it's a great choice. At Number 2. Hiram H101 Slow Juicer. If you're making a glass of fresh juice for breakfast every day, you're probably going to spend a lot of time rinsing, scrubbing, and brushing all of your juicer's many parts. Not so much with the Hurum H101. It issues screens in favor of a special grooved filter that effectively removes the pulp, and the spouts and chamber both have features to help ensure nothing sticks. You can't put any of this juicer's parts in the dishwasher, but you also won't need to, as a dip in warm water was all they required in testing. The Hiram H101 produced some of the tastiest carrot orange and strawberry pineapple juices in our tests, thanks to its slow rotation and gentle squeezing. It struggled, however, with green juice. It didn't effectively extract liquid from kale, and bits of leaves wound up in the finished drink. Overall, this machine is quiet and sturdy, and it requires minimal pre-juicing prep work. The easy clean design makes it a time saver, and it made excellent juices, though it struggled with leafy stuff. It's on the expensive side, but if you're a fan of non-green juices, it might be the model for you. At Number 3. Amschef Slow Masticating Juicer. The Amschef might be no frills, but it's a solid choice for the money, especially if you're only looking to make a glass or two of juice at a time and don't have a lot of kitchen space to spare. It was able to take down all the ingredients we threw at it, we did have to push down pretty hard on carrots, but even they made it through. Although this juicer doesn't have any extra features, it performs its basic functionalities well. Our test juices all had fresh flavor and excellent texture. Very little pulp made it into the juices, but the downside to that is that a lot of juice stayed in the pulp. The Amschef's yields were lower than its more expensive competition. We also lamented its lack of a drip-free spout, as we got sticky dribbles on the counter and base of the machine. At Number 4. Dash Deluxe Compact Masticating Slow Juicer. You don't have to invest a fortune in a whole corner of your kitchen to get fresh cold press juice at home, the Dash Deluxe is a great way to make a delicious serving or two at a time without dropping a ton of cash. It's a tiny machine that takes up next to no space, but the downside of that is its itty bitty feed chute, which requires some pre chopping. Don't sleep on the Dash Deluxe's power, however. It did a great job in three of our four tests, especially on fibrous ginger, an ingredient even the highest-priced machine struggled with. Its carrot and apple juices came out flavorful and smooth, albeit with some pulp left behind. It also comes with a frozen dessert attachment, a nice bonus that few low-cost juicers include. This machine's big weakness was with kale. It took 14 minutes to get through a full test batch, and that yielded one of the smallest amounts of juice, which was rather gritty. If you're a green juice fan, you're better off with something higher end. It's also not the best choice for making lots of juice at a time, as you'll have to keep stopping to empty the small pulp receptacle. At Number 5. Breville the Juice Fountain Cold. Juicing takes some time-consuming setup, so if you're going to do it, why not do a lot of it at once? The extra-large and super-powerful juice fountain cold is ideal for someone looking to make juice in bulk. Its pitcher, sealable for storage, holds 70 ounces enough for the whole week or the whole family. We love how the extra-large feeding chute lets you add whole or mostly whole ingredients, and the 850-watt motor is far more powerful than competitors. We were impressed in testing by how quickly it produced juice. The construction feels sturdy and stable, 
and we found it particularly easy to assemble. This is not the best choice for making one glass at a time. It did poorly with small batches of juice, the bottom of the bowl sits slightly below the spout and won't let the first few ounces of liquid separate out, 